In this video we're going to talk a little bit about custom workspaces. Um, we're going to start off by just opening up Adobe Captivate 8 and we're going to just uh, choose a blank project. Nothing fancy here, no uh, responsive design or anything like that for now. Let's just hit create and this will create a new project for you and will open up, open up all the appropriate stuff for you and you'll be all set here to go. Just give this a second. So, out of the box, Adobe Captivate 8 does this every single time. When you want to create a new project, and, uh, you know, this is the, the basics here for you, uh, you'll notice that the timeline in Captivate 8, uh, the default setting for that is collapsed, as you see here. Um, the Properties window or the Properties panel is uh, not displayed and um, additional toolbars are not available. So I can turn all this stuff on that I like to have. I like to have the alignment toolbar because if I'm, you know, I'm a bit of a stickler for how things are lined up on screen. So this is great. Yes, it takes up a little bit of extra room, but the advantage to me is that I can make sure that everything looks the way I want it to look. I also don't need the timeline collapsed. I work in the timeline quite frequently, so having it open is beneficial. I also like to have best fit selected so I can see the majority of my screen uh, for my project. I often will also have uh, different panels open like the effects panel. Uh, I use a lot of effects to uh, spice up my projects. The other thing I like to have open frequently is the slide notes option because uh, I do work with text-to-speech quite a bit and I certainly add closed captioning to all of my projects. So I've totally customized this and uh, you know I do some work on my project, I save it, then I close it and um, you know if I go back in later, let's say the next day or maybe later this afternoon and open up Adobe Captivate 8 and let's say I do a new project and I'm hoping to see my alignment toolbar and of course all the different panels that I opened up before but unfortunately the default with Captivate 8 is to not display all that stuff as you can see here we're back to the default now this is the classic what they refer to uh, or what Adobe refers to as the classic workspace which you can access from here and you can also access this from the drop-down uh, menu from the window drop-down and uh, you would see that at the very bottom there as well there's no option here for creating additional workspaces and the reason for that is by default Adobe Captivate 8 doesn't enable this stuff. So if you want to have sort of a, a standard customized workspace that is uniquely yours, just like I like to have mine, uh, you need to actually go down to the Edit menu and select Preferences or Shift F8 if you prefer. And that'll bring you into the Preferences dialog and you need to just check off this little guy right here enable custom workspaces panel undocking just a little reminder that you need to restart Captivate for this to work so I'm gonna check that off I'm gonna click OK and here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna reapply all that stuff that I like to have I like my alignment window or sorry my alignment toolbar I like to have my effects panel and I like to have my notes panel you know, and I, I'm usually in my properties quite a bit, so we'll keep that open there. And, um, you know, I'll save my project as if I was going to be creating a new project. We'll just go with the default name there. And we'll close Captivate down and, you know, pretend like we're going back to it um, a day or so later. Uh, so we'll just open up Adobe Captivate just like as if we're starting before and you'll notice that right off the bat the good news is let's just do a blank project for starters all of my stuff that I like to have open my properties panel the slide notes the alignment toolbar all of this stuff is open by default 
Now, if there are occasions where I might want to have different workspaces depending on uh, what I'm working on, you can actually save workspaces much in the same way that you might save projects. So, but this is done through the uh, window drop down here. We'll go into workspace and you'll notice now there's a few additional items including Paul's favorite workspace uh, which we can select and you can see that that's now available from this drop down but you can also go in and uh, use the uh, manage workspace function and you can uh, you know rename certain things delete things and so forth and so on so that gives you a nice little high-level overview of, of managing and working with workspaces within uh, Adobe Captivate 8. Guys, if you like what, uh, what I'm uh, doing here in this video, don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe and that will get you, uh, get you uh, up and running with all of my videos. Thanks and have a great day.